Hey YouTube, I'm back again with another doll video. This time I've got the new Bright Souls by MGA. That's right, I've got 8 of the 10 new characters that are coming out on the 10th of the 10th, 2010. I'm Australia, I'm in Australia, and I didn't pre-order them or anything like that. They were just on the shelves today, so I bought 8 of them. They were $20 each, so I spent a bit of money. Anyways, here's Lydia. She's the African American character. Um, I really like her, and that's why I opened her out of all of them first. Um, there's some good things about the dolls and some very bad things about the dolls, which I'll get to in a moment. So each doll comes with a poster, which is pretty standard for every Bratz doll. So you get on one side, passion for fashion. Um, it just says the girls, not the only girls, but the girls with a passion for fashion. So obviously they're not the only girls anymore. Um, on this side, it shows you 10 of the new characters. We have Lydia, Audrey, Tyler, Joelle. Ashby, yes, A S H B Y, Ashby. Leora, Shady, Shardy, I think it's Shady. Shira, Carrie, and Liliana. Each character obviously has different coloured hair, different facial features and expressions, and they are pretty cool. Each doll comes in a box like this, so half of the doll is actually covered by this animated thing, which is kind of disappointing because. When you're buying a doll, you don't want to sort of have to play around with it and figure out what the doll looks like. Now, where's this is uh, Lydia's box backing, which says, um, you know, my friends call me Night Owl because I never sleep, so that's kind of dangerous for a teenage girl. Um, each one's got like their little, you know, nickname slogan on the back, so this one's Sizzles because she's got, oh, because my style is super hot. Um, whatever. Some of the um, facial makeup makes them look very, very cheap. I think, like, they look like knockoff brats. The hair quality, I have to say, is very poor. Um, it's like the original um, Moxie Girls and the last lot of brat dolls that came out. The hair quality is just below average. Um, when you get it, it's tangled and matted. It's very dry. It's wiry, and it feels just not nice. It's not silky like Say the original Brat Skulls, like this one here, her hair is like silky, neat and smooth and, you know, you can do that and it just goes back to its original thing. Whereas this one, the more you fling it around, the fluffier it gets and that's kind of bad because she's got more hair than doll. Um, she came with these really cool earrings but they kept falling out and getting tangled in her hair. I actually had to take this one back when I first got her because she was missing her earring or one of them was missing, but now I've got both of them so it's good. Um, another error or issue with the fashion is the animal print. Um, there's black sort of paint, um, which is shiny, and it peels off. So when you undress the doll, she gets black spots all over her legs. They peel off, but it's kind of annoying. Um, the bodies are different as well. Um, so you've got, I'll quickly show you. Um, shoe sizing, tiny compared to the original Bratz shoes. These Bratz can't stand up by themselves like the original Bratz could, which is a rule left down because I like to have them sort of on display and doing various things. Um, the bodies themselves are pretty much, they look like Moxie Girl dolls um, bodies, like obviously they're not, they've got um, shorter legs and um, the feet mechanisms are the same as the old brats or very similar so you can use all your old shoes. You can also use all of your old clothes on them which I did before so that's a good thing. Um, so here's all the black spots on her legs, uh, and that's from the paint or whatever on the um, on the um, clothing, which it does come off. Like it just sticks to it. It doesn't like stain the doll, which is good. Um, but here's the new body. Here's the old body. So you can see they're wider around the waist, and their hips can do like the splits. Um, pretty much like the Moxie Girls, they can't um, sort of do anything other than that. Their arms, that's as high as their arms go, unless you force them, which bends them. Um, they haven't got the hinges like the original Brat Stoles did, which you could actually, because they don't have that little ball thing under their arm, it's sort of different. It doesn't have a hinge on the shoulder. You can see the hair is already matted, and that's brand new today. Um, there's the old shoulder. So. The shoulders do look nicer. The arms are different. I've got to hold the hair back. Hang on. 
So there's the arms. Um, the hands are different. They're curved. They're actually the Moxie Girl hands, just smaller. They're shorter and they're pretty much exactly the same. The fingers are shorter as well. So face-wise, you can see there's a huge difference in the original earlier brats. This is like the 2002, 2003 brats, 2010 brats. So not a huge difference, but they do look a lot more cartoonier and more animated. Let's get back to the other dolls because I'm running on five minutes now. There's Carrie. Her name, is, her nickname is Coconut because she's tough and sweet. Um, yeah, um, if you can sort of see on this side of the box, her hair's all matted and tangled already, so I'm not sure if I'll actually open that one. Um, a Leora again, which I showed you before. Audrey, the really dark redhead character. Her friends call her Bookworm because she loves to read. Tyler, who I think is the Asian character. Um, she's really cute. Um, and her nickname Stage Star because she likes... Oh, she's a star performer. Um, Liliana, who is dazzled because she's a total charmer. Um, there's her sorry, there's her face, as you can see. Um, more animated again. And then you've got Ashby. Super lame name. Her friends call her Misfit because she's a total sports star. I don't know how that makes Misfit, but anyway. And then you've got Shady, who is trailblazer because she's all about adventure. And then you had um, Lydia's box bit. Now, they are good. I'm, I'm, I pretty much bought them for the fashions and their heads. I'm going to put them on the older brat's bodies because it's what I do. Because to remove a brat's head, all you do is push down, twist a couple of times, and it slides straight off. You don't have to use hot water. You don't break the neck because when you push it down... It stretches it slightly because the rubber is really hard. It doesn't get snagged. And it doesn't make the head too wobbly either, so it still holds in place. Um, I think that's pretty much it on the new Bright Styles. Um, they are really, really cool. I'm hanging out to get Joelle and Shira because I want to have the whole set. Um, I'm not allowed to open them because we're moving house and the house has got to look perfect, so I had to open Lydia at work. I work in a toy store, so I get these really good, really cheap. And I went to a clearance store um, on the way home. Um, they just started getting all this old brat stuff, and I mean old. I had these um, funky fashion furniture, and a like a love seat, and it's really, really cool. Comes with an extra pair of shoes, with slippers, a couple of pillows. But it's from 2002, and it's still in its box. I bought three of them because they were cool. So um, when I move house, I'm going to do a video of my new doll room, which is going to have more brats than Barbie, because I'm over Barbie. But it shows you the old style books, old style brats, and it was only $6. I mean, look at that, $6 for a really cool face set. They also had the um, pretty and punk phone booths, which are really cool as well. So I'm going to buy a few of those when I get a chance. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to do some more stuff. Um... And I'll do like, you know, fashion comparisons and everything later um, when I open those dolls, if I open them. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and it's good to know all the Br new Bratz characters because they haven't sort of been released yet. So sneak preview. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.